I layered straw, manure, and leaves as mulch. Here's how the soil transformed in 90 days. Healthy soil is the foundation of every thriving garden. Yet, you know, it's often the most neglected part of the growing system. Gardeners tend to focus on fertilizers, irrigation, or above-ground plant care, while forgetting that the true engine of growth lies beneath the surface. Soil must be alive, structured, and continuously nourished with organic matter if it is to support vigorous crops. This reality inspired a 90-day mulching experiment using three simple, accessible ingredients, straw, manure, and fallen leaves. Instead of adding them individually, they were layered together to mimic the diversity found on a natural forest floor. The results were astonishing, and honestly, the lessons can be applied by anyone looking to build fertile soil quickly and sustainably. Why layering matters more than a single mulch most gardeners are familiar with mulching as a way to suppress weeds and conserve moisture. A single mulch material, whether straw, wood chips, or grass clippings, can serve this purpose. However, a deeper transformation occurs when multiple materials are combined. Soil organisms thrive on diversity, and layering provides exactly that. Straw and dry leaves are rich in carbon, while manure is abundant in nitrogen. When these elements interact, decomposition accelerates. Fungi consume the carbon-rich materials, weaving mycelial threads across the mulch. Bacteria bloom in response to the nitrogen from manure, breaking down organic compounds into plant-available nutrients. The mixture of coarse and fine textures allows oxygen to penetrate and feed this microscopic workforce. Nature has already perfected this system. On the forest floor, leaves, branches, animal droppings, and other debris accumulate in succession. Each layer decomposes at a different pace, providing a continuous cascade of nutrients to the soil. By replicating this natural process, Layered mulch becomes far more than just a covering. It becomes a catalyst for long-term soil renewal. The setup building the mulch system. The starting point was a compacted garden bed that had seen little improvement over the years. To prepare it, weeds were cleared, and the soil was lightly watered to provide a hospitable environment for microbial life. Then the layering began. The first layer consisted of three inches of straw. This acted as a breathable base, insulating the soil, moderating temperature fluctuations, and locking in moisture. Its hollow stems created small pockets of air that encouraged the first stages of microbial colonization. Next came two inches of aged manure. The manure, already partly decomposed, was essential for supplying nitrogen. As the microbes digested the carbon-heavy straw, the manure prevented nutrient lockup and ensured decomposition proceeded steadily. If the manure is fresh, it should always be composted or diluted before use to avoid scorching plants. A safe formula is one part fresh manure to three parts water, left to ferment for a week before application. In this experiment, aged manure required no dilution, making the process quicker. Finally, a dense layer of fallen leaves was added on top. Before application the leaves were lightly moistened to soften their waxy coating and speed up microbial access. This upper layer supplied a secondary source of carbon, but with a finer texture than straw, ensuring decomposition occurred at multiple speeds. The bed was then left largely undisturbed except for occasional watering during dry spells. With all three layers in place the stage was set for soil life to awaken. Days 1-30, to 30, The First Signs of Change Within the first month, changes became visible. The straw, still recognizable, began darkening where it touched the manure. The sharp, dry scent of straw gave way to a richer, earthy smell, a signal that decomposition had begun. Worms, which had been absent at the start, were spotted slipping beneath the straw after rainfall. The leaf layer softened and curled, breaking into fragments. Fungal mycelium began threading across the surface, binding particles together. These networks of hyphae served as bridges, transferring nutrients from the manure into the straw while stabilizing soil aggregates. The soil underneath, though still firm, showed early loosening on the surface, a subtle but promising sign of structural improvement. By the halfway mark, the mulch had transformed into an interwoven mat. The straw collapsed under the weight of moisture and microbial activity, turning from pale yellow to mottled brown and black. The manure lost its original texture, blending seamlessly into the straw fibers. Worm castings were now easy to find beneath the mulch, proof that earthworms had moved in to feed and recycle organic matter. The soil beneath showed even more dramatic change. What had been compact and resistant now broke apart easily by hand. 
Moisture persisted even through dry weeks, as the mulch created an insulating barrier that slowed evaporation. The tunneling of worms improved aeration, while the decomposing leaves contributed humic compounds that enriched the soil with dark organic matter. This stage marked the point where decomposition was no longer just occurring on the surface, but was actively integrating into the soil profile. Microbial life and earthworms were bridging the gap between mulch and soil, knitting them into one continuous ecosystem. The final stage revealed the full power of layered mulching. By day 90, the original ingredients were barely recognizable. The straw had been shredded into soft blackened fragments of humus. The manure had fused with both soil and straw, leaving behind only the fertility it released. The leaves had decomposed into a crumbly mass resembling forest leaf mold. The greatest change was in the soil itself. What began as lifeless, compacted ground had become loose, sponge-like, and teeming with worms. Each handful contained visible aggregates bound by microbial glues, the hallmark of healthy soil. Roots could now penetrate deeply without resistance, and moisture lingered longer than before reducing the need for irrigation. The soil had effectively renewed itself in less than three months, driven by nothing more than the strategic layering of three natural materials. This experiment demonstrates a simple but powerful truth. Soil does not require years to improve. It requires the right blend of organic matter, and a thriving community of organisms to process it. Straw provides the structural skeleton, manure supplies the nitrogen fuel, and leaves add the finishing touch of humus. Together they set in motion a biological engine that awakens even the most tired soil. Layered mulching is more than a cover, it is a system of fertility building. It supports fungi, bacteria, and worms at once, each playing their role in decomposition and soil aggregation. The process works in stages that any gardener can observe early fungal blooms, mid-stage worm activity, and final humus formation. Recognizing these stages helps gardeners understand the rhythm of soil life and trust the process as it unfolds. Applying the method in your garden. The beauty of this method lies in its adaptability. In raised beds, thinner layers can be used to provide season-long fertility. In orchards, thicker layers protect roots during dry months while steadily feeding the soil. Even in compacted urban plots, this approach jumpstarts life where none was visible before. The key is patience and consistency. Moisture must be maintained to keep decomposition active, and the layers should remain undisturbed to allow fungi and worms to do their work. With repeated cycles, soils become self-sustaining, rich in humus, and naturally resistant to compaction. Over time the soil transforms into its own factory of fertility, reducing reliance on constant outside inputs. The 90-day transformation of a single bed layered with straw manure and leaves proves a vital lesson for gardeners. Soil does not need to be tilled, forced, or endlessly amended with synthetic products. It needs to be fed, protected, and given the diversity of organic matter it craves. This technique is one of the simplest, most powerful strategies available for anyone serious about soil health. By working with natural processes instead of against them, layered mulching creates soil that improves with every season. It enriches fertility, conserves water, and builds resilience into the garden ecosystem. If you found this experiment insightful and want to see more hands-on tests that reveal how soil really works, make sure to subscribe to Soil and Crop Central and share this guide with fellow gardeners. Together, we can cultivate soils that are richer, gardens that are stronger, and harvests that are more abundant than ever before.